Hey guys, it's Brielle. If you are new to my channel, thanks for coming over and watching one of my videos. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over some tips and tricks that you guys can pick up for contouring. And now this is probably one of my most requested videos. I get Instagram messages literally all of the time about people asking me to do this video about what products I use and how I do it. So instead of just doing like, okay, this is just how I only do my contour, I'm going to show you guys a couple different ways that you can actually um, blend out your contour and products to use for it. It's super easy. It's going to take like thinking that contour is like almost impossible to like, oh my God, I can totally do that. So I hope that you guys learn a lot from this video and I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you at the end. To start, there's a couple different ways that you can do cream contouring, which is why I actually really love it because you have so many different ways of doing it. And a lot of people kind of think that it's only a one way is like the be all way, but obviously that isn't true. So I'm just going to be sticking to an all time classic of mine, which is the contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade light. I've obviously have really dug into the highlighting colors, but I love these contour shades, especially for someone who's super pale like myself. So I haven't said anything on my face. I did do my foundation. I did my concealer already and everything like that. Um, I highlighted a little bit underneath my eyes, but I just haven't gone ahead and said anything with powders because I, and I don't understand how people do it, but the, they'll like set their underneath and then do cream contour and like they're, that's just too much overlapping. I like to just get all the wetness out of the way first and then go on to my powders. And I want to show you guys a couple different ways of how to blend out um, your contour. So I'm going to go right into this light sculpt shade, which is right in the middle, and I'm going to be taking an e.l.f. brush. I believe this brush was about like $2. This is just their small duo fiber brush, and I actually really love these to contour with because you get a little bit more of like an airbrush kind of feel to it. So I'm just going to go right in, and how I like to do my cream contour is, so where the top of whatever this part of your ear is called. <laughs> Um, I kind of like to just line this up and it should be going straight. So in a lot of people I'll, I'll see the contour kind of like down this way. Your contour should never be past the natural um, cheek structure. So I'm just going to go right in with this contour sheet and I'm going to blend as I'm applying it. And you can just see that it is just literally blending seamlessly in. Without any issues. And if you feel like you need just a teeny bit more, I like to go in with a little bit of a darker contour shade. And just sort of go very tightly into the cheekbones just to hollow it out a little bit. And so I'll leave that. And this kind of looks a little harsh right now, but that's totally okay. And then I just kind of do the same thing for my forehead. And I don't like to cream contour around my jawline too much because I like to use powders for that so it can be a little bit more diffused instead of so concentrated. I will just lightly tap all over my face with my beauty blender just to make sure that everything is blended out. That's why I said it was okay if you did your cream contour a little bit harsh on your cheekbones because you're just going to go ahead and blend it in anyways. You can see that it's softening up by itself. And then what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of concealer and just go right underneath where we just put the contour because I like my contour to be very like sculpted and then I'll blend down and again I'm taking my beauty blender and just patting and that's just going to give a little bit of an extra softness to the contour and now for the other side, I'm just going to be taking a fluffy brush. It doesn't matter what kind. You could use a crease brush or anything like that. I'm going to be taking that same exact shade. And I'm going to be just placing that color along my forehead. I'm just taking that contour shade. My hair is getting in the way, but whatever. 
Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking another e.l.f. brush. So I'm trying to be a little bit more affordable with this right now, um, brush-wise. But this is another e.l.f. brush. This is called their blush brush. And you can see that it's very flimsy. And this is definitely a perfect blush brush. I have used it for that in the past. But what I also like to do with this brush is I like to use it for contour because it is super fluffy. So the less dense a brush is, the easier it is to blend with. Now, if I try to take like a super dense brush like this, this would not work out the same way that using a fluffy brush would, just for an example. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and I'm just gonna start blending. You can see that it's already just blending right into my foundation, giving it almost an airbrush kind of finish. And this is also like an alternative if you don't own a beauty blender and you don't like um, sponges on your face, you can absolutely use a brush to blend out your contour shades. And you can just see almost immediately how easy that was to blend out, literally not a problem at all. We're just gonna carve out our contour again on this side, going right underneath and then pulling it down. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just tap it into the skin. And then I just like to go over everything one more time with the beauty blender just to make sure everything is just totally blended in as much as possible. And then obviously the other way that you can blend out your contour is just with a beauty blender or you could take any type of like CVS brand or Ulta brand, whatever sponges. Your sponges don't have to be the $20 ones you can very easily substitute them out for the cheaper ones, the ones that are more disposable. You just really have to know how to work them because they do tend to be a little bit more stiff. And that is basically it for contour. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna set everything. I'm going to do some bronzer on top of the cream contour just to make sure that that is set as well. And then I will be right back to show you guys the finished product. All right guys, so this is the final look. I just wanted to show you guys how I ended up just using some matte bronzer actually by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I used some highlighter and a very like kind of um, luminous blush. And then obviously just kind of set the rest of my face with some face powders. And I did my brows and everything else like that. So everything is done. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you learned some tips and tricks about contouring and the different ways to do it. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye. Keep